actually day two of the trade show forgot what I was gonna say for a second because I haven't been talking about there's been so much other stuff I've been talking about right I should know that but um yeah so today is day two and I'm actually heading out there by myself today um, Evan and Emery are gonna be coming probably for the second half I've been feeling bad guys like I've been setting up all week for this thing and then yesterday they were with me all day and um, Emery has just been doing so well she's only eight months but like she's been you know getting woken up a little bit earlier than normal and then she's just been kind of out of her element trying to you know figure it all out she's used to just taking her naps in her crib her two times a day and she's just she's been doing really well to be so little and for it to be kind of out of her routine but i felt bad so i told mom like at least for the first half of the day let her get her first nap at home um just so she can have some familiarity with that and then i'll see them for like the second half and to the end of it so i apologize for this annoying sun on my cheek let me see if i can move it okay but um yeah so i am heading out there actually it's so funny i'm driving my car from high school i still have my car from high school guys and i'll be 30 next year so you know it is what it is it's paid off and sometimes that's how it is one day i will get my dream car but we're not there yet and that's okay so let's do a little bit of a recap on yesterday I will do like a full video where I'll sit down and give you guys tips I've actually been taking notes in my phone um, to give you guys some just tips and everything if you're just curious on the do's and don'ts and how things kind of work now of course every place is different every type of business is different but I'm just gonna give it based off of my experience but pretty much yesterday was Friday um, and it was day one I really didn't even do a ton of vlogging mainly because we were just kind of sitting around it was a slower day mainly I think it's just people were at work it's a Friday so we did have some people I think I might have had a total of like 10 people and then maybe an additional like 10 that just kind of looked at stuff and then kept it moving but overall all of the vendors we were all talking to each other and to kill time and um, I got so much advice and tips on like different um, other trade shows to check out and stuff so definitely one thing I would say is network with the people around you um, sometimes it's kind of hard especially like if you're only just there by yourself because I was there by myself some of the times so I didn't really want to leave my booth because then there might have been an instance where someone walked up and they wanted to purchase and I wasn't there so um, when I could I would go around and I would network and then some people came and talked to me as well so that's definitely a huge tip is to get to know the people around you because you know they'll help you out and um, they've been so nice and uh, just funny you know as we're all like sitting around they're like tomorrow tomorrow because it's Saturday so hopefully it will be a better day I'm sure it will be so I'm heading there now I'm running a little bit behind schedule it was just one of those days where I kept forgetting something and I had to keep running back to the house so it is what it is luckily i only have to just set up my little notebook stand put my pens out shouldn't take me more than like 10 to 15 minutes to fully get everything up and ready to go so starts at 10 it's 9 12 right now so yeah that's pretty much everything going on i just wanted to check in with you guys because i know i said i was going to be vlogging so i'm going to try to show more today especially if it's going to be a little bit busier i can kind of show the crowds and then i will make sure i insert some of the video that i did like that i put up on instagram stories and stuff like that so if you guys follow me on instagram you probably have already seen some of the stuff but um only other thing i would really say is just i would try to bring something to you know pass time in the slow moments but then you also don't want to get too wrapped up into it just in case if people come you don't want to look like you're just uninterested in customers so i had first i had my laptop out because i was working on the sticker kit for um the july box and i was like mm, that might be a little bit too intense to be doing so then i just kind of was on my phone doing some research about stuff and i did get that mobile hotspot set up my husband ended up having to go to verizon to do it because it was not as simple as they made it um to just do it online so i don't know what that was about but um yeah so just checking in like i said i will be back on a little bit later um, and this is my hoodie that i'm wearing today it's a little bit cooler in that dairy barn because it's shaded 
so I decided to just go ahead and wear my hoodie this one says focus on the good in each day I think I showed you guys this in the last video so I shouldn't have any problems with being warm today and that's pretty much it I'm just heading on the way there all right I'm actually here at the place I forgot to show you guys how I had my tablecloths on first I forgot my cash box key that would be a nightmare but I'm gonna show you the booth setup it's pretty much the same as yesterday a couple things are missing but um, yeah I'm so excited it's so cold out here that's mainly what I want to say I'm freaking freezing and I'm so glad I have this hoodie on so you can see them better oh, I wanted to turn my lights on today I don't know if you guys can see them they're on, they're on, they're on kind of doing that little glowy thing and this is a look at what I can see from across Ready to get my card reader set up. This is the little hot spot. And then I'm about to eat my Mickey D's. Don't judge. Mm -hmm. Look who it is. It's been pretty slow today again. Um, so I think there was some issues with the advertising and different things like that. But I'm just happy it's been such a good experience. I've been meeting a ton of people. So definitely not by any means something that I don't regret doing or that I regret doing. <laughs> No, that's what I said. It's, by, it's not something I regret. I'm happy that I came. And we still got another day tomorrow. At this point, the goal is to at least make back the money for being in the show. Hi, Emery. day of the spring showcase here at the NM Expo so I'm so excited um, it's been slow like I said you guys I'm gonna actually do a full recap video on everything and I'll include my advice and my tips for everything that I learned and I'll do a quick little recap of exactly like what happened and all of that stuff but so far I've just really enjoyed the experience I've met some really great people and um, it's definitely not something that I regret by any means I'm so happy that I came out here and did this that I stepped out on faith and I'm just excited to see what the future holds. I actually am looking into some more shows that I'm gonna be doing, so maybe you guys will be able to follow me along on some other ones, but I just wanted to share this experience with you guys because this is a huge step, and um, it's something that I have always wanted to do, but I just was so scared to actually do it, and um, I, it just, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Just like most things are in life, we make such a big deal about stuff, and it's just like, what is even the point? Just go for it. Um, I just feel like when we make excuses and we just keep putting things off, we're only wasting time um, from just getting our blessings and learning our lessons and moving forward in life. And so that's the biggest thing that I wanted to share um, through this little three part video series. And so I'll try to share some different clips with you guys today if I can. It's Sunday, so we'll see. It might be a little bit slower. Um, but I'll be packing up my booth and everything and all of that and just getting everything ready to go and then um, if you guys have any questions about this process at all leave them down below in this video um, I will be scrolling through to see if there's any that I can include in my just kind of like final recap and advice video that I have um, and that'll be going up in the very near future so yeah I hope that you guys are having a great day while you're watching this um, also today is actually my anniversary it's been three years since I've been in business for the stationary muse and I cannot believe it like three years you guys it just seems like it's flying by um, it seems like it's been longer to be honest but um, I don't know this is just a great way to end it to be doing my first show um, to just really be feeling so confident about everything and I just have so much to share and offer and I'm just excited for what the future holds of everything so um, just keep watching this video as we um, enter into day three 
I got my Starbucks today because it's very cold again. I even put my vest on today and I'm wearing the hoodie again because it was just so warm. Why not? And it matches everything really beautifully. But um, if you guys have not tried the green tea latte from Starbucks, yeah. And I just want to show off this amazing and talented artist here in Albuquerque. Her name is Deanna and she has Maggie Made Me. And she makes these really, really cute signs with the little Zia symbol on them. And I just love all of her stuff. I'm trying to get her to make me an Ohio one, so we'll see if we can get her to do that. But definitely check her out and follow her page if you love amazing art like this. And also, does she not have the cutest booth? Like, I'm trying to step my game up, y'all. This is so cute. But I love she's been my neighbor the whole time, and it's been really cool. This is another shop that I thought was really cute. I'm just sharing you guys on Inst my Instagram story. <laughs> yeah. I was in here yesterday. Your stuff is so cute. Oh, thank you. Look at the little ring dishes. This is Mason Jar Designs. I'll try and tag them if I can. Okay, and then I'm definitely thinking about trying some of this liquid lipstick. I love liquid lipstick. Sometimes it's like hard to get off, but she was saying you can take it off really easily um, with like essential oils or even the makeup wipes. So yeah, lip scents. Have you guys heard of that before? You are here, she's here actually at this event as well. These are the signs I wanted to show you guys just so you can see the signage I was using for everything. Prices, need another size for shirts, notebooks, I like a little gotta love sticker to show the prices of those. And then I had a little 50 cent bin as well. So tons of different things. So there's a few hours left for this show. I think I might actually start getting some of my stuff together so that I can get home and enjoy most of my Sunday, or at least the rest of it. I have so much work I need to get caught up on and everything, but I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog, and definitely I have tons to share with you guys on this whole experience, how everything was, the highs, the lows, and all of that. So just stick around for that video. Definitely subscribe if you are interested, and I will have some more videos coming up next week. It is my anniversary, so I am just so excited, and I can't believe, again, that it's just been three years. So this just couldn't have been a better way to celebrate. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm going to start packing up, like, right now. <laughs> Bye.